Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. We are bringing you a side-by-side -side comparison of the 2023 Country Star in a 37 and 40 foot uh, floor plan. So what's so cool about this is you get to figure out and see what you get for three feet uh, between these two floor plans and what you lose. So Jody, if you don't mind, as usual, I love to start my RVs from the inside out. Go ahead and take her on back. Uh, on, of course, folks, if you'd like to find me on YouTube, you could always find me at hashtag RVs inside out. I've got a ton of videos there for your review, uh, but I love doing comparisons. So today is going to be super fun. Um, right now we're in a 3717. This is one of the most popular RVs um, actually built uh, by Numar. This is a, certainly a game changing coach for those of you looking for a petite diesel pusher. Um, the Country Star uh, brand is really um, pretty fantastic. It's gotten a lot better in 2023, as have a lot of our RVs just due to some new uh, systems that we've got in place. But one of the cool things about the 3717 is, first of all, our rep has one. When you have a guy who reps for a huge uh, section of the country for Numar, choosing a product line speaks very highly of the fact that this little quad slide is a real grand slam for anybody looking for a lot of function and a lot of space. But more importantly, the Country Star segment is so neat because it fits in between Ventana and it fits in between the Canyon Star. The Canyon Star is a front engine diesel. So today I actually have our 6.7 liter ISB running during this video because what I wanted to show you is how quiet this coach is uh, going down the road with this engine running. Uh, one of the main benefits that you have in a diesel pusher is first of all, of course, low end torque. So getting out of a gas engine and getting into that diesel engine is gonna go you know, from a you know, 400 plus or minus foot pounds of torque all the way up to going into an 800 foot pound torque range. So a lot more low end torque. Um, this is a 360 horsepower engine. Um, but more importantly, we're putting the engine in the back of the coach, which means the generator can be in the front of the coach. And what's nice about that is if you're running one of your two 15,000 BTU heat pumps and air conditioning units because you're boondocking and you're not plugged into 50 amp, you have the capacity to run that generator at night without having that noise because the generator is where the engine would be in a front engine diesel underneath the hood and your rear engine uh, pushers, of course, are going to be quieter down the road because the engine's in the back and not up in the front. So definitely a huge advantage. Uh, but in the Country Star segment, we've got two 34-foot coaches, two 37-foot coaches, and four 40-foot coaches. So this is a, a, a pusher that is chocked full of benefits. So one of the main benefits that you're gonna have in a quad slide like this is, look at the amount of room that I have around the bed. So a ton of room on either side. You've got these really nice little places to keep your water bottles, maybe a sultry novel or two. Uh, you've got two USB ports, a 110 outlet. Uh, so lots of storage on either side of this bed. Also great over cabinet storage as well. And one of the things I want to mention about this uh, particular model, in fact, both of them that we're looking at today are going to have the um, glacier glazed maple hardwood uh, cabinets. So these are not the laminate cabinets that are standard for this coach. This is an upgrade. Um, and that's a great feature of this, of this coach in this segment. Um, a lot of times you're getting something that's got a laminated or a veneer top. So to be able to get Numar's really beautiful hardwood cabinets at an entry level price point is fantastic. Another nice feature about this particular floor plan is under bed storage. So tons of under bed storage. And then just to the left here, a great place to keep a CPAP machine. So for those of you that are traveling with a CPAP machine, what a nice place to be able to keep, uh, keep your CPAP machine out of the way. And you can just leave it there while you're traveling because it'll stay in place while the slides are in. Now also we're gonna have MCD shades with both day and night coverage here, as well as opening windows for cross ventilation. So really great uh, location for those. And then a ton of closet space here, a great place to maybe set up your vanity with all of your jewelry and such, you know, when you're, when you're camping for the week. I know I always have a ton of things 
laying all over the coach. So what a nice way to be able to store those. Um, and then, as I mentioned, just a ton of closet space back here. So great storage. Uh, we also have the optional Splendid washer and dryer here. So great uh, number of, you know, silk, wool, delicates, jeans, activewear, lightly soiled, quick wash, uh, permanent press, express, regular, and colors and whites. So really great uh, a number of settings here on your Splendid. And you can use your washer and dryer while going down the road. Uh, you would have to pop your slide out to have access to change over the laundry. And I can't encourage anyone more to uh, do your laundry before you get to your campsite. You've got a 65 gallon gray water tank, a 45 gallon uh, black water tank, and a 105 gallon fresh water tank. But would be really nice to be able to dump that gray water tank fill up your fresh water before you go camping and if you've done all your laundry you're not using that gray water tank when you get to your campsite it's already been done and you guys can you know go ahead put a few things in the drawers and then get to camping so highly recommend doing your camping while you're driving a uh, great place here to keep any kind of I don't know you want a PlayStation 5 or your you know any of your DVD players blu-ray players you can plug those in here but this is a 4k smart TV so a lot of people are just getting um, this has the Everest system on it, so we have a Wi-Fi Ranger on this coach. Um, I also I have a Cradle Point on my coach. Um, and what I like about these um, options is that I can watch Hulu, Netflix, any of those uh, TV stations, Apple TV, and I don't have to rely on DVDs, which is, of course, kind of the wave of the future, if you will. Uh, we're also installing, installing Starlink here at their dealership, so we've, got, uh, we've done a few uh, Starlink installs, so if you've got questions about Starlink, and you would like to talk about feature benefits of that versus Cradle Point, we'd be happy to, to cover that with you. So lots of drawer space here. One of my favorite things about this coach um, not, is not only these full extension drawers, but I love the fact that I have a great place to be able to sit down, you know, put my socks on, put my shoes on. While I'm here in the coach, I don't need to have a chair. So really, really nice access um, in terms of all of your storage here. But more importantly, when you want to sit down and put on your tennis shoes, you've got a place to tie your shoelaces without having to go into the front of the coach to, con you know, to finish getting dressed, if you will. Um, so as I mentioned, this is going to be a quad slide. So your two controls are here. Uh, you have a really nice separation for privacy here in the center of this coach. So your bathroom is going to be in this very wide hallway that you have because of the configuration of the 3717. So this is the amount of space you're always going to have going down the road, regardless of whether or not your slides are in, which is super nice because as you can see, we've got great bathroom access. Now, one of the benefits, in my opinion, of the 3717 over the 47 or the 4037 is the square shower. So on our bath and a half model, we'll see next, you're going to have a radius shower that's 35 inches. This is a 40 by 30 square shower which is a really nice thing complete with a sky a skylight you've got an adjustable shower head um, really really nice bathroom you also have a robe hook you've got an egress door you've got a ton of storage um, beautiful vessel sinks it's just a really really well executed bathroom and i am going to come in here and just show you this storage space in here because it's so ample you've got so much room and then here in our medicine cabinet, just like in all of the cabinets we've opened up so far, it's nice and carpet lined to prevent us from having rattles down the road. Um, so, you know, when you buy a Numar, there's so many things that you get um, that just really differentiate your experience. But one of them, these cabinets are really handcrafted um, in Napanee. Um, our Amish workforce in Napanee takes such great pride of the materials um, that they use and also the execution of their insulation. It's really fascinating to go to the factory to watch them assemble these coaches. There's a complete difference in not just the house itself, but even if you look down at our floor, we have this optional beautiful uh, laminate floor. So this is going to be the wood plank, which is an upgrade over the tile. Um, but when they construct these coaches, 
we've got a three inch subfloor that's going to make it much quieter going down the road. It's going to keep you cooler in the summer and it's going to keep you warmer in the winter. And your Truma system, which is an optional feature on this coach, works even in freezing temperatures. So that 105 gallons of hot water can be heated by your Truma system even when you're in really cold climate temperatures. And then of course we've got a 54,000 BTU furnace on our 37 and 40 foot model. So you get a little bit better furnace when you go a little bit longer here. But again, we're at 37 feet, 10 inches long with a ton of pantry space, like so much room here. Um, and I'll open up this one for you too, Jody, so we can show both. Look at all that tall cabinet space. What a dream, I mean, you could actually keep baking sheets there um, if you wanted to cook, you know, make cookies or do any kind of um, storage up here for bread boxes would be a great place to keep your, your breads. And then up here we have again more storage, more long storage where you can keep like those lap trays that you might use while you're out camping. Um, we love our trays as opposed to plates. Of course, they're just a lot easier to have on your lap when you're sitting by the campfire. And then we have the optional Whirlpool refrigerator. This is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. I love this shelf that's removable, so useful. And I also love the meat and cheese drawer. Great place to keep your bacon and your burgers, all your cheese. And then there's a ton of storage here underneath and this really huge freezer with an ice maker. So again, this Whirlpool refrigerator at 19.7 cubic feet with water filtration system for your door and your ice cubes both in the refrigerator and then also in our whole house water feet, uh, whole house water filter really makes for a very, very nice camping experience. Now, one of the major changes that you're going to see in the 2023 models in both of these coaches is right here. So we've pulled our uh, we pulled our controls out of the cabinet. This is a much more convenient location, but more importantly, you can now see at the touch of a button, your house charge, you can see what your LP rating is. You can see how much of your gra black, gray and freshwater tank are left. You can turn all of your lights on and off. Very simply, you can even put your TV up here in the center as opposed to having to do the button. Now the button's been upgraded this year as well, so I'll show that to you. Um, here you have your automatic generators start and stop. So I just turned the generator off. Um, here you also have your uh, HVAC. So you've got your control for your living room and for your bedroom here in the center of the coach. And then also, again, all of your light settings. So what's nice about this is you've got individual light settings. Maybe you don't need uh, anything on. I'm sorry, let me do this back a minute ago. Bedroom, all lights off and then only run my courtesy lights because I don't need to have a whole bunch of lights on at night. In fact, we'll just do kitchen, all lights off, and I can just set up my dinette, my dinette lights. So I've just got, or my theater seating lights. So I've just got my, my theater seating on. So it's just so important to understand, I have a Ventana and I literally have to go through and click all of the buttons to turn things on and off. And so having these all lights on switches where I can turn everything on and off by zone, uh, not only here at this unit, but on my phone as well, is just completely bringing me back to the days when I had the Firefly system with my Verona. I really liked that aspect of being able to control my coach with my phone and having the ability to turn everything all on and off at, with a click of a button. So really huge change for 2023. Um, as you can see here, another thing I'd like to point out is that Numar is so great. They actually allow you to turn off the backlighting. So if you have company with you that's not quite familiar with a coach, you can leave these glowing at night and just turn them down. But if you want to just turn it all the way off because maybe someone's sleeping up here, you can actually go all the way off in terms of that backlighting. Um, now, some other features that you're going to see mirrored between the two coaches. In the Country Star, you have the availability of something that I think is really fantastic. I've enjoyed it a lot. I didn't know how much I was going to like it, but we have our central back here. So you got your uh, hose attachment here because there is carpet in this unit. You will have carpet in our units all the way up through until uh, Dutch Star. Uh, Dutch Star, we go to our more floor where you can have a hydraulic slide, which gives you the ability to have no carpet. But what's so nice about having that little central vac system there is you can keep those hoses underneath your bed and you can come out here and just do a quick run through under your dinette. And as you can see, there's very little carpet in this coach. Um, so really cool feature to have your central vac. Um, now, another great feature about this coach is it's 32 gallon uh, propane tank. So you've got a three burner stove here. 
I love the way that this folds up and actually creates a bit of a grease shield for you, if you will. And then you've got a nice place to hang a towel, which is something that is missing when you have uh, the induction cooktops. There's really nowhere to hang your towel. Um, so I actually love that. Uh, we do have the optional Whirlpool um, microwave oven and convection oven. Of course, you can microwave a burrito in here or you can cook cookies. Um, I had somebody who asked me a few videos back um, if I could have this vented to the outside. Mine is not vented. I have not needed to have it vented. Um, but as long as our coaches don't have bonded windows, if that's important to you, I can have this vented outside for you. It's a special order feature. Um, now take a look at all of this cabinet space. This is just so incredible. I love all of the room that you have in these cabinets. I mean, you have so much room to put all of your plates, all of your dishes. Again, everything is felt lined. You have this huge cabinet space or counter space along with the optional window. And then when your slides are in, and we'll see that in just a minute, your dual sinks, which are going to be undermount stainless steel, uh, your left sink is still available going down the road, even with the slides in. So uh, you can make me a sandwich, you can do some dishes, you can microwave me a burrito. I mean, we can really be able to rock and roll. And as I mentioned earlier, there's so much walking space in this coach for access to that center bathroom. I love the scrubby holder, a nice place for your trash can, tons of room underneath for storage. Now, as you go up in model lines, you know, these They've got these little pull out you know, drawers that you have or storage components that you have, um, but you can always add those to these coaches. So if you wanted to order something from Numar, maybe you wanted to have a pull out under the sink to store all of your cleaning supplies in, it's a pretty easy fix. Um, and that's a differentiation. I mean, that's something that you get at these higher end coaches, but you can spend you know, $100,000 less and add a few things and really get you right back to where you would have been, for instance, in a Ventana. Um, so, okay, so we've covered this whole midsection. I want to come back here and just put this bedroom slide in. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Ansel interior or exterior today and the Baja interior. So it's really nice to be able to show you um, two coaches that are identically equipped in terms of color combination. It kind of helps to keep you from getting distracted um, by the differentiation of color, um, by having the glacier glazed maple hardwood cabinets. Um, by having the Baja interior on both coaches, by having the Ansel exterior on both coaches, I'm really trying to be able to show you a true side-by-side -side comparison where you're not distracted by something that you might like or not like because of a color combination where you're really able to kind of obje objectively look at the difference between these co two coaches. And I think it's really interesting. Um, I'd really like to give props to, did I open these three yet? I didn't, okay. Uh, to Andrew Lyons and Avon Lyons and Jody and Cherish and all the people who are part of our video program. In all of the training that I've done, both at Freightliner, Renegade, Numar, all of them, um, no one can duplicate this video program. I mean, we've really been able to get out there and get you information. So if you see something that you're interested in, please go ahead, call me. My number is posted right below at the bottom of the screen here call me, let me know how I can help you. That is why I make these videos. I make these videos so that I can sell you an RV and give you great counsel. But one of the most important things to understand is our staff, man, we know our stuff. We are complete experts on chassis, whether it be Spartan, Freightliner, Mercedes-Benz, whether it be a Winnebago, a Newmar, a Renegade, a Super C, a Class A. We have the experience through our video program to really provide you a first class experience and give you good counsel when you're looking to spend a lot of money on a nice RV. Um, so storage here underneath, of course, is fantastic. You will note that I have a forward facing seat belt here. Um, we will not have a rear facing seat belt, but this is a convertible booth dinette, which means if you have littles that you are uh, traveling with, you can actually put this table all the way down and convert it into a bed. But more importantly, if you've got a forward facing uh, or a rear facing car seat, you can anchor that into this booth. So you can actually have a car seat in this RV. So another huge benefit, another huge benefit. Look at the size of this window here. So look at all of this ventilation that you have throughout this coach. So huge cross ventilation, gigantic picture window here above the dinette. And then of course we have a lot of storage. Um, all of these country stars are going to come pre-wired for solar. Uh, the ZAMP system that we've used historically has always had 175 watt panels. 
I can actually add three 190 watt panels this year for the, exactly the same amount of money as we were doing 175 panels last year. So you could have almost 600 amps of solar on this coach. So this coach is really taking us from our traditional, you know, you buy a class A because you're gonna plug in and camp at a campground, to you know what, go out and hit some BLM land. Go out, use your generator to run your AC and keep your pets cool during the day. Because I've got auto gen start, I've got solar on top of the coach. I can really take this coach boondocking um, much more easily than I've been able to historically because of all of these new advancements that we have uh, in not just solar technology, but electricity, everything else. I mean, we really are just getting better and better at getting you out of the park and out into the open campsites that you might want to visit. Look at all this storage in here. And I have to tell you, there's nothing better than the smell of real wood. It just smells so beautiful when you open this up. Um, and then you'll see here we have the TV lift is up right now, um, but they've taken away the little black button um, and given us a really nice integrated silver leaf button. So these um, KIB switches are just much more attractive. And again, you can turn the black lighting down and I can t put the TV up and down here um, as well as on my phone or in that 10 inch center control module. So that's a really, really nice feature. Um, when you have your theater seats, there's little uh, plugs here for USB ports. And um, I have a lot of people who say, how flat do they go? So I will show you. Um, and I have a few order guides printed out. I talked to a lot of people on the phone. Um, so this gets pretty flat, I would say. My pom pom's holding my head up a little bit, but I, I don't think I would sleep here. I think that someone could certainly take a nice afternoon nap though. Um, and then here we actually have a convertible uh, bed. So this is a trifold whenever you do the theater seat option with Numar. So um, this is actually a pretty comfortable sleeping arrangement. Um, if you have, if you're traveling with, for instance, let's say you wanted to bring your daughter and your son and, uh, you know, with their newborn or little child, I would say that that, that booth dinette's only going to sleep someone until they're probably four or five years old. Of course, unless they're just naturally little. Uh, here we go. So there's a release here in the center. And we just pull this out. Super simple. And then this folds down very easily. So another two seat belts here along with the booth dinette. So you've got two, four, five seat belts here in this coach. And this coach could pretty comfortably sleep, uh, uh, pretty comfortably sleep, sleep five people. So that's good to know. Um, now I would say that one of the benefits of the 37 foot, of course, is it could probably more comfortably sleep six. So depending on what your uh, objectives are, it's important to consider those things when you're making your buying decisions because they are different. Um, so you saw our big uh, flat panel television. And again, it's gonna be smart TV. Everything is gonna be pre-wired for HDMI. And you have a Bose soundbar up here above so you've got fantastic surround sound available. It's not just being powered through your television when you're watching a movie. So again, this is the 3717. This is a really good model to consider. Um, if you're looking for something that has a diesel pusher, that has a you know nice eight kilowatt generator, that has a 6.7 liter ISB, uh, 800 foot pounds of torque engine, and you want a shorter coach. Um, again, 10,000 pound towing capacity. And then just to show you how we look at things, um, in all of our RVs, you'll see that we have different things that come on this sheet when you order the RV. But the way that we get there is we actually have what's called an order guide. And these order guides allow you to add the egress door, to change the sofa out, to add the theater seats. Um, and in this floor plan, as well as the other floor plan we're looking at today, the 3717 or the 4037, you have an optional fireplace this year. So we brought the fireplace back. That would be in the place of the trifold uh, couch if you wanted to have it. The other thing that's really nice about this is that I have spec sheets that are differentiated for 37 foot models versus a spec sheet that is gonna be different for a 40 foot model. And what it will do is it will tell you the difference between your wheelbase. So for instance, on the 37 foot model, you have a 242 inch wheelbase, where you have a 276 inch wheelbase on 
the 40 foot model. Now what does that mean? That means you give it a little more basement storage and you also are going to have a little more supple ride. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about though that's interesting is uh, so carry capacity. This is a place where really Newmar just excels at the way that we order our coaches. When we went to Freightliner, everything was nice. Newmar was always the nicest. The way that we order our chassis from Freightliner for this coach, um, you can see it coming down the line that they are more robust, that we've chosen more of those, uh, those options. And what that means is this coach has a 9,100 pound uh, capacity for stuff. So you, you can put up to 9,100 pounds of gear in this coach and still tow 10,000 pounds. That's really impressive. And to be honest with you, it's, I think, 8,900 on the 40 foot. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, so a little less carry capacity. But wow, so much carry capacity between the two of these. But I have all of these sheets always available um, for you. Of course, I take a ton of notes on every coach as we're going through them because there's so much to learn and make sure that we cover. Um, to be honest with you, I pretty much have a majority of the product line uh, memorized, which is kind of gross. I probably spend too much time at work, but I really, I enjoyed a fantastic uh, 2022. So for those of you that have tuned in, that do watch my videos, that did call me, that bought RVs last year, you know, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to also having a fantastic uh, 2023. Um, but I, I think that one of the reasons that we find ourselves so successful at our store, once again, is due to this video program and our ability to really walk you through everything that's available um, because we spend so much time talking about what we offer here. Uh, so here we're gonna have our power control system, uh, our Xantrex, this is for our inverter. We get, an upgraded, uh, we get an upgraded inverter with the package that has the two extra batteries and the large refrigerator, so that's on this coach. Uh, and by the way, this is stock number 5N221934, again 5N221934, and this coach is available. Uh, here's our Truma uh, AquaGo system. This is a great system, uh, it's designed, and they have a Comfort and they have a Comfort Plus. We only use a higher end Comfort Plus in our coaches. Uh, and then we have our awning controls here. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend our awning. And I'm gonna do that while at the same time, I pull in my slides. So we'll just try to get both things done simultaneously in the savings of time. We will not spend as much time going over uh, the coach uh, from uh, the standpoint of our, uh, our 40 foot. My goal is really just to kind of get you that exposure so you can see the differences. Um, but we will uh, spend a little more time in the cockpit of that coach after we look at the, at, after we look at the basement storage in both RVs so I can show you this brand new, very exciting dash that's being offered by Freightliner. So um, our dash has improved very substantially and our, uh, our ability to control your lighting and heat functions by your phone, having a nice centralized unit where you can actually see all your tank levels without having to get into the front of the cockpit. All of these things have really improved in 2023 for Numar. Um, now I did want to just cover here, one of the other benefits that you're going to have in Numar is going to be our locking slide mechanism. So our slides are really durable and they lock when they're going down the road. That's a huge adv advantage for anybody who's ever had to use uh, a, a locking slide where you actually have to insert something into the top because then you have to remember to take it out. Um, we also have our equalizer smart leveling system. Again, this is a system that has the ability to be, uh, to be monitored and controlled by your phone. So it's really nice that you can take a look at your equalizer system. Uh, there's even an app for it, as well as for the carefree awnings. Um, here we've got the brains of the operation. So as usual, I think that the wiring and the way that everything is labeled here in our circuit breaker just shows the quality of our product. So I like to show that. And then a little extra storage here. And again, we're gonna cover a little bit more of the cockpit when we change models, but let's go ahead and go outside right now. Oh, I didn't put the, oh, I probably didn't have the power switch on, shoot. Anyway, we didn't put the awning out, uh, but Jody can pan up and just show you how nice, it covers almost the entire length of the coach. And then again, this is the Ansel decor. So beautiful exterior. Uh, there's a screen for this window, but if you have the door open, and you have the screen door closed, 
You can actually hand groceries in and out or screen this entire situation here and keep the bugs from traveling in and out of the coach. So really, really nice uh, setup here. Um, we've got a 305-70 R22.5 uh, Alcoa uh, equipped uh, tire up front here. So these rims are going to give you less reverberation and more quiet going down the road. It's a really big deal. 55 degree wheel cut, um, tons of basement storage. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I've learned so much about uh, in just being able to go to Newmar a few times and owning my own RV is our Star Foundation accompanying the, um, the Freightliner chassis gives you so many benefits. So this is actually taking your center of gravity and lowering it so that you have a lower centralized center of gravity and coupled with a standard feature called V-Ride uh, by Freightliner, this coach is gonna drive down the road with much less tip, much more stability, much easier to control than other RVs. But most importantly, Numar has something called Comfort Drive. Uh, we'll cover that when we get into the other cockpit. I'll show you how that works. But what's really interesting about it is that crosswind can really be uh, something that tires you out, that gives you road fatigue while you're driving. So you, you can get more hours in on this coach and feel more relaxed because of our comfort drive and our V-Ride systems that come standard on this Country Star. And then take a look at this pass-through. I mean, there is so much room here. You have so much under cabin or, uh, basement storage in this little 37 foot coach. Um, this is a little tool cabinet. Newmar makes shelves for this. Again, these are things that you can have installed or that you can order from us and we can install them for you. Again, this is a 305-70R 22.5 tire. What's nice about this is these tires can all be rotated because they're all the same size. Uh, so we like that. A 10 gallon def tank, of course, it's feeding our beast of an engine back here. You can see our chassis batteries right here. This is your on and off switch, our def tank. Um, but you know, things that you don't hear about that make such a big difference. Uh, for instance, bump steer, going over a bump. Freightliner really has figured out how to make it so that if you hit a really jarring pothole, you're not losing or feeling tippy. You're gonna be able to be steady and on the road. And it really shows right here in the back where you can see our, again, brake sync, which is a standard feature. We've got our wiring system here for our 10,000 pound hitch. All of this is standard. So, you know, the brake sync, what it does is it allows you to keep your a second brake line fully charged. It's got a second tank that stays fully charged so that while you're actually going down the road, if you needed to brake your vehicle for some reason, you would still have fully charged brakes and that system is not being tied into the main brake lines of this coach. Uh, and that's a really big deal. A lot of people like a ladder. We don't put ladders on them after Ventana, so the ladder comes standard. Um, of course, again, more storage here. Um, here we have a 50 foot power, uh, power cord. So a lot of uh, power. In 23, we have easier to close doors. Um, historically, if you've watched my videos, I might struggle to close a door two or three times. I don't have to do that any longer. This is a really easy to close door. Again, we've got the optional surge protector. Here's your 10 gallon def tank. 100 gallon fuel capacity, I know I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, look at this beautiful water bay. How nice, how clean, how tidy. Great, uh, great place to be able to get everything set up. You've got a shower with both hot and cold water. You know, one thing that's missing in this water bay is going to be the paper towel dispenser. But having this little separation in between the shelves allows you to keep your gloves, you can keep your paper towels, everything right here in your bay. Again, that's your whole house water filter. Here's the back side of that egress door and then all the storage underneath. So this is just super fun to be able to kind of show you all of the benefits of having a under um, or a diesel pusher with a rear engine. You know, there's no drivetrain going through the center of the coach, just giving you so much storage underneath on a small package. It's very exciting. Again, this is going to be, we have the optional two additional uh, house batteries here. So these are um, 
Oh, there are typically four batteries in this coach. There are six when you get that upgraded package with the larger refrigerator. Again, getting you up to a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. I challenge you, take a look at your refrigerator. I'll bet you our refrigerator in this RV is bigger than the one that you have at home. It's really exciting. Um, again, 100 gallon fuel tank, big Alcoa tires. Access to your generator is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. You've got your side view cameras you know, which are gonna help you when you're going down the road to be able to see, you know, I always do this. I have, I struggle, let me put my phone down. I struggle with opening the generator area. I guess that's because I don't really do a lot of maintenance. That's my boyfriend's job, but I'll show it to you anyway. Okay, I'll do it on the other one. <laughs> anyway, so you got your side view cameras going down the road. You're gonna have a really great visibility. And then as you can see, again, this is the Ansel decor on both of these coaches. They look absolutely gorgeous. Really nice color combination. Um, and then here are your bays. So just a little bit more storage underneath when you get that extra three feet. You'll see we have one extra, one extra bay here. So really, really important for people who are trying to find uh, the right level of capacity we have different options. I don't think I showed the outdoor TV next door, so we'll go ahead and take that opportunity to do that now. Oh, it's locked. Um, again, another 43 inch uh, 4K smart TV. So super, super nice. Again, in 2023, Numar had heard a number of people say, you know, we appreciate that the seal quality is important, but we want doors that are easier to close. So we came up with a solution giving you easier to close doors. Um, Again, really nice place here. Behind this is where your water is stored. That's why you don't have a deeper bay there. Uh, but you could get shelves up through this if you like, which is nice. Okay, one more time, folks. There we go. So just so you know, there's so many videos in the past where I just never got that door closed. Super excited about being able to do that here. Again, another 305-70 R22 and a half. Uh, you'll notice that the difference between this coach and the Ventana is when we get into the 40 foot Ventana, you get a second tag axle, which gives you maybe better maneuverability, but also less storage space because you'd have a whole second axle here. So a little more room on a Country Star than you'll have in a Ventana from a storage compartment standpoint. Now here in the back, again, everything is the same standard features, brake sync. You're gonna have your, six, your seven pin connector. You're gonna have your 10,000 pound towing capacity. You're gonna have your ladder. You're gonna have your same storage capacity here, same 50 foot, co uh, 50 foot power cord. Here, surge protector as well. Like I said, we really wanted to equip these in a way that you would be able to see um, the differences between the two coaches without having to really um, make the differentiation as to which one you preferred based on things that might distract you like color. So these are very much twins. Um, so you'll see here, this is kind of an interesting thing. This is our slide motor. And one of the things that's really interesting to understand is that we use a cog system here. Oh, and then this is a little place to keep your gloves, by the way. So if you want to keep your gloves here instead of the, the water bay, there is a compartment for you. Um, but what's interesting about this cog system, so one full rotation is 12 inches. Um, and this cog system that we use on our slides is so sturdy that when they're building these RVs, there's a number of places where they need to bring supplies in and out. And they actually use the cog system, not only in the RV itself, but in the actual construction process to move heavy loads because they're so reliable. I heard something like 40,000 ins and outs a year on one cog. I mean, that's just remarkable, but that is how, how good this full wall slide is. So as we mentioned earlier, the 3717 is a, is a quad slide. This is a full wall slide. So what you get with the Country Star when you get into the 40 foot is going to be more space because of this full wall slide. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of gloss over the uh, water bay just because we've already covered it. But as you can see here, great access to all of your storage underneath, tons and tons of room. Uh, so really, really nice layout here. And then I do have the generator running on this coach as opposed to the engine. And the reason that is, is I want to be able to show you, again, there's your six batteries as opposed to the four, um, how quiet this generator is. So 
A lot of people are concerned about park noise being inconsiderate to the people that are camping next to. This is a very, very quiet generator. Okay, let's see if I can get this one to open. Oh, that felt much better. <laughs> let's see if it works. <laughs> and this is the one running anyway, so there we go. Here's your eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. And I did just want to point out a few other things while we're underneath here. So your airline here, which is really nice. You can actually air up all of your tires from this location. You've got an LED light over here, and then your big air horns uh, here underneath the hood of your vehicle. And so again, super important to understand what are the benefits that you have. Whenever I do that, that means the little bar just came unlodged. So if you buy a Country Star and you close your generator door, don't let it slam like that because that little bar pops out. So I'll have to go put that back after this video. <laughs> Again, turning, uh, changing lanes is really easy here. You've got these great camera system, really nice big convex mirrors, very easy to see, well-placed. And then here is our nice step. Now we didn't talk about this in the last RV, so I do wanna show both coaches will have storage here underneath the stairs. Um, this is a great place if you wanna keep dog food, maybe some leashes, some bowls, uh, any of those things if you've got pets. And if you don't, you know, you could also keep for instance, um, suntan lotion, mosquito spray, that type of stuff. And I know we talked about this screen, but I wanted to show that to you since we have an opportunity here. And then Jody, come on in. So one of the things that we did is we redesigned our seat this morning, this morning, <laughs> this is Monday morning. Uh, we redesigned our seat uh, this year for 2023. So we have the mobile eye system here. And a lot of you will say, well, what the heck does mobile eye do? So let's cover that. Let's talk about what we do with Mobileye. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and turn our coach on. Wait for our dash to fire up. Here we see our Freightliner custom chassis right here. And let me just slide in here. I'm gonna change the angle of this steering wheel. So one of the cool things about this year's dash, first of all, big glass dash by Freightliner, but now you have your def level right here in the center console without having to go anywhere to uh to look for it so it's all going to show right there and i'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy up there we go and so we're going to go ahead and go through some of our gauges so i have additional gauges which i can see i can leave these up so i can watch my turbo boost i can see my oil pressure take a look at my coolant I can take a look at my engine load if I'm pulling something, shows me what gear I'm in. So all of those features are gonna be under our additional gauges. Our steering effort is now, a sh there's, a, there's a shortcut, which is this little button right here. And you can actually change what this button does. It doesn't have to be to your steering effort, but of course, this is that comfort drive steering. So if you want to feel less of the wind uh, you know, across your bow, you can adjust your steering effort and you can have more or less steering effort yourself. Um, I like it right in the middle um, or on the higher side of things because I think it just works really well. Um, but so your steering effort's both here or the shortcut button. Your fuel economy is right here as well. So you can see what kind of fuel economy you're looking at, how many miles you have until you're empty. Uh, and that distance to empty in 2023 has also been moved here to the main screen. So again, battery voltage, distance to empty, and then your def level and fuel all in one spot. So you aren't looking for it. Now mobile eye, what does mobile eye control? So new for 2023, you're gonna have your uh, headway warning distance is adjustable. You can't turn it off. It can be set to near, medium, or far, but this basically is going to be like, so if you're gonna run into somebody, it's gonna give you a warning whether you like it or not, so don't run into people. Um, your intelligent high beams are new this year, along with a new light that is brighter illumination. So we've heard a lot of people ask for better lighting. You have better lighting, and not only that, you also have intelligent high beams. You can turn those on and off. And then you also have lane departure warning now, and you can disable that, but you can set it to low sensitivity. And now if you are departing the lane, you'll actually feel it in your seat, which is fantastic. A lot of us are used to having that on our cars anyhow. Uh, your speed limit your speed limit indicator can also be disabled, but you can set it. So if you're driving through town, it might have a 20 mile an hour speed limit. You can set this so that it tells you if you're going more than 10 miles an hour, an hour over the speed limit. That way you don't find yourself getting a ticket. 
Uh, here's your little lane departure symbol right here that's going to be there. You can also see our parking brake is engaged, but a really nice improvement here in our dash. Really love that. Another thing we should talk about here is your engine brake is set on and off here. But as you can see here, you can change between um, your, you can go into manual mode, so you can shift between neutral drive and reverse here on your stock, but you can also change your drive setting. So this is going to default to shift your coach in a less aggressive manner. So um, if you set this for the less aggressive uh, shifting, so in other words, you're not going to the higher RPMs, please do me a favor. If you're curious about this, let me send you a torque reading uh, by Freightliner. What's very interesting about our engines is that they actually perform better at a lower RPM. So you might not only get better fuel efficiency when you are on your, uh, when you're on your economy setting over your standard drive setting, you actually might get better performance from a torque rating level as well. So I have a torque map I can show you. I can email it to you if you're interested about that. Uh, you don't have to buy an RV from me, but if you're considering one, I'd like you to. Um, <laughs> So six-way power seat. Of course, these are both recliners. Um, lots of comfortable space here. As you can see, very clear camera system. You can see everything behind us. Uh, very easy. There's a, there's a guy walking over there. I mean, this is a great camera system. Um, and then when you get over here, you're going to have your nav and go, as well as your uh, auxiliary input. And then new this year, you're also going to have not only Bluetooth, but you are going to have Apple CarPlay. So big change in this chassis that you can run Apple CarPlay. Uh, and these camera systems and radio systems now work not only uh, with the chassis battery engaged, but also with house. So you don't have to turn one or the other on to have this system work. Your camera systems will work off of either one of those systems. And in fact, this morning when I started the coach up, I didn't turn the house on. I only had the chassis battery on and my camera came up, which is a really nice feature for those of us that have been out camping and you forget to turn the house on and your rear view camera doesn't show up. It's kind of a bummer because then you got to stop what you're doing, park or put your brake on, go turn that battery on. You don't have to do that any longer. Uh, so great place here just to keep your cell phone, little little holding mat and then a lot of room down here because as we all know, people have lots of stuff while they're traveling, whether it be sunglasses, wallets and the like. Here's your US, USB port insert. So you've got two of them there. Climate control. Um, someone said this doesn't have climate control. Absolutely, it has climate control. You can set it to be cooler or warmer. It's just not dual zone. So that's okay. We can live without that. Uh, on both coaches, you're going to have power mirrors, left and right, as well as heated mirrors. And again, so nice to have those automatic headlights this year. So if you're coming down the mountain and you've got your brights on, Oh, should we do this really quick? There's that air horn we looked at earlier. Um, it sounds like a sissy if you turn it off, but you can turn that off, so. <laughs> I always get a kick out of that. We talked about the equalizer system. We talked about the fact that we don't have to have all of our controls here because we've got it centralized in our new 10 inch monitor and we can use it on our phone. So a lot of things are gonna be the same here. And then, um, this coach has the optional front uh, television. So in these two RVs, we're showing you the theater seats. We're showing you without the TV, with the TV, so you can see those two different options. And then we're showing you again, all the same interior. So you've got, this is the Baja interior, glacier glazed maple wood finish, um, really, really big uh, living room area. So again, what do you get when you have an extra three feet? Well, you get an 87 inch long, uh, hide a bed couch, which is really, really big. So if you are an entertainer or you have littles, one of the other things that would be nice is you can bring this couch out and I'll show you how that deploys in a minute, but you'd still have room here for another air mattress. So if you're looking to, to sleep six, this might be a little more of a convenient uh, situation for you. Now, again, this is a bath and a half model. Um, one of the things that's different in this model is going to be that you have a 35 inch radius shower. Now we're talking 40 by 30 versus 35. So in terms of overall space, they're very similar. Um, I feel like this has got plenty of room. We've got the skylight above. So if you're tall, I think that you could be pretty comfortable in here. It's just not quite as convenient because you've got a, you just have a little less elbow room. So if you're a big dude, you might want to try these showers on before you make a decision on the coach. Um, 
And that being said, when your wife sees all of this extra storage, she might not care whether or not it's convenient for you. <laughs> oh, the other thing is um, you can lock your children in the shower and they can't escape. So that's a really big plus on this model. Okay, I'm just kidding. Don't call Child Protective Services. My daughter went to school this morning. We let her out. <laughs> She's in high school right now. Sometimes I do want to lock her in the shower. In fact, I don't really have to even lock her in the shower. She's 14. She spends so much time in the shower, you don't need to lock her in the shower. <laughs> she asked me, she said, Mom, do you talk about me during your videos? And I was like, oh, yeah, dear. She's like, what do you say? And I was like, you just have to watch them. <laughs> So I'm at no risk because that'll never happen. Now they've seen a few of my videos. Um, okay, so I love this about Numar. Again, these are the Glacier Glaze Maple Hardwood Cabinets. It's, you know, about a $6,000 plus or minus upgrade on this coach, but it's a huge difference maker. If you're looking for something that is priced really well, um, that is, you know, going to compete against anything else out there that has the 6.7 liter engine, the build quality and the, the finish on this coach is really second to none in our industry. Uh, here we also have, of course, this egress door. Once again, very, very convenient to be able to load and unload things. So as you can see here, oh, and listen to that. So that's with the engine running next door. And then if I close this door, it is so quiet in here. What a huge testament to uh, this manufacturer. Um, so one of the things that's nice about the 40 foot model, so this 4037, you could do your laundry without putting your slides while going down the road. So I do think that that's a nice plus. Again, I don't have that in our coach. Um, it's really not a huge deal, but it would be nice. Um, okay, so again, Baja interior, underbed storage. We've covered a lot about this already. So we just show you what that looks like. You've still got the ability to put your CPAP machine underneath on both. King size bed, so 72 by 80 for both of these models. Um, as you'll notice over here though, when we get to the wardrobe area, you have additional hanging space, right? So now you've got three wardrobe closets as opposed to one long one, right? So we've got a little extra uh, differentiation, if you will, amongst your closet, but we don't have the place to sit down. I don't have a place to put my shoes on. Um, so I do like that feature of the 3717 and then again, MCD power or MCD window shades, both day and night. You've got an emergency exit in both. And then you always have your full extension cap or doors. But what's nice about this is because they come out or because your wardrobe comes out further, these actually deploy further. So you still have that great storage space and accessibility. Um, so love that. Um, a little bit wider entrance into the bedroom. So you've got a double door as opposed to that single that you had next door between the two. Uh, wall placement, we're gonna have, again, there'll always be a little bit different, but nice central location here for your, uh, for your display. And again, when you know the difference, you know that this is so nice to have. Um, same refrigerator. Now we talked about that at length in the other one, so we don't need to go too crazy in this one. Uh, but I do want to show you the pantry storage because that's quite different. You have a single pantry as opposed to the double. Still a ton of storage. Um, but again, bath and a half model, right? So you've got two people that need to use the facilities at the same time for people who are looking to live in their coach full time. Sometimes having a second John makes a difference. So here's your center bath here. Um, another place that this could make a difference is going to be if you've got grandkids camping with you and they're sleeping here in the front instead of having to uh, use the one restroom, you can keep your things private and quiet, keep your door shut, get ready in the morning, and the kids can still get up and go potty while you're taking a shower. Like everyone can kind of have their own space. So this is a really nice thing to think through. Again, 100 gallon fuel capacity. 105 gallons of water, 65 gallons of gray water, 45 gallons of black water, tons of storage in this mid bath here. Um, lots of places for towels. I'm always looking for a place to keep towels. So I love that. Um, again, for someone who's going to have more people in the coach or just maybe is planning on living in the coach, this is going to be maybe a little more convenient. So you get quite a bit for those extra three feet and you're still at a pretty reasonable size. Now, 
The Country Star only goes up to 40 feet. If you'd like to get a little bit longer coach, again, you can grow into the Ventana or Dutch Star where you get to 43, or at the Mountain Air level, you can start moving into that 45 foot length. So we have a lot of different options for you. Again, here's the brains of the operation here in the center. Of course, your television uh, can be in the middle because this stuff is all here in your mid bath. And then your kick plate for your central vac is in the bathroom, which is where mine is. And I think it's pretty convenient, except for if I'm sweeping, I have to put my rug up. So it's kind of nice in the 3717 that it's in uh, a place where you're not likely to have a throw rug. Um, okay, so let's talk about another big difference maker here. Okay, wow, counter space, right? Lots of counter space in the 40 foot model, really big uh, storage here. And then on top of it, you have not lost your island. It's just changed a little bit. So you have your island still. Uh, you still have all of the drawer space in this island, even with it deployed. Um, but your sink, of course, is now going to be along the passenger side of the coach. Okay, so this is always requires a hip bump. I don't know why I can't do it with my hand. I just have to do it with my hip. It's a true story. Um, so great storage here. Um, both the 37 and 40 foot coaches are going to have a 54,000 BTU furnace. Uh, you've got a little less power on the 34 foot, uh, 34 foot country stars, just so you know. Also a little shorter wheelbase. And of course, the longer your wheelbase, the better your performance in the mountains, the better your handling. So lots and lots of great drawer space. Um, you get an extra remote because we've got an extra TV. Again, we're looking at the Ansel exterior with the Baja interior, glacier glazed maple hardwood. Um, lots of cabinet space up here. I think the 37 foot has more overhead cabinet space personally um, that's usable. So I do like that, but this is so deep. There's plenty uh, here. I don't think that you're really going to be at a loss, but there is quite a bit of storage in that uh, 37 for dishes. Great little compartments everywhere. Still your dual stainless undermount sinks. And then both of your faucets are going to have a swivel with a pour and a spray feature. You're going to have a place to keep your scrubbies in both models. Super important. You do have dual sink access, of course, going down the road in this coach. And then again, lots of storage underneath here to keep all your cleaning supplies and your trash can. So overall, really great layout. Of course, we have our, whirl our Whirlpool um, induction and microwave, our convection and microwave oven in both units. I think I'm backwards. Am I backwards, Jody? I'm backwards. You can always tell when you're backwards because they won't go in. It's like a puzzle. And check this out. I love this aspect of this coach. Spice rack up here. Super nice. And then again, that same, there's a little more storage over here. Uh, that same setup that you have here with your overhead cabinets. And again, I love the way Numar does this. Instead of making a weird shaped cabinet, they just make everything look uniform throughout the coach. They do such a nice job. HDMI ports are accessible. And then um, in this coach, you still have that really, really great amount of storage over here. You get a little bit longer storage above this couch, of course. And then you get a bigger dinette window. So that's a really cool dinette window. Pretty awesome. Um, again, I should, I should show this to you. Don't be lazy, Katie. Jody's like, my arm's gonna fall off. Every time we do a video, he always tells me his arm is gonna fall off when we get done. I do really long videos. Um, if you're not into long videos, don't like or subscribe to my channel. But if you want a lot of information in a thorough fashion from somebody who really knows what's going on with these coaches, I'm your girl. Um, and I always feel like the people who are actually researching to purchase this is the place you want to be. Find my videos on whatever coach it is that you're looking for because you're going to get the information that you want um, out of my videos because I spend a lot of time covering little nuances and showing you things like how the beds look when they open, um, how flat the, you know, the, the recliners go, you know, where the plugs are. So all this stuff is really important when you're RV shopping and, um, I'm a huge Numar fan. <laughs> so if you didn't know that about me, um, that is also for sure. And I can tell you why. I've got a lot of reasons that I like our manufacturer 
over other competitive models in the industry and I'd love to have that dialogue with you. So very cool setup here, right? So here you're gonna have another uh, bed that you can fully extend. So look at all of the sleeping room in this coach. This is very easily going to sleep six people. And like I said earlier, with that huge amount of space between the dinette and the kitchen, if you wanted to be able to put down another hide a bed or not hide a bed, but an inflatable air mattress, you could really easily do that. So this coach could probably sleep uh, pretty comfortably up to eight. And then I should show you here. Here, Jody, come take a look. Instead of having the one rear facing seat belt and then two, you actually have three back here. And then I do, because I think if you're, if you're not curious, I am. I want to see whether or not we have seat belts on this other couch. So we're going to take a quick look at that. Um, the furniture is fantastic. The handle to this upholstery is so great. Um, Numar really puts together not just a first class coach when it comes uh, to cabinetry, but also when it comes to furniture. So our furniture is so nice. It's so durable. So this is the Villa Comfort Fit, Comfort Fit series. And just like our Truma uh, water system, we only use the best stuff. So uh, Villa, of course, has been in business for a really long time. And one of the crazy things about Numar is that you can drive to our, our dealership um, and have service here. We have camping on ground here at Trans West. We've got four RV locations. Um, so you can have your car, your RV serviced here at the dealership. You can camp overnight. You can have same day service. But if you don't, if you don't have the capacity to do that and you want to go to Napanee, Indiana, you can actually have your coach serviced at the manufacturer. Um, and that just speaks really highly of how comfortable Numar is with the product that they build and that they have created for you. They are not only comfortable enough to actually have you come in and see them in the ordering process, but they have literally 60 parking spots and 54 bays for service. So if you have something specialized you want to have installed, or if you just simply need an oil change, you get a team leader that comes out for your service. They service your coach. This facility has been built and is equipped to be able to do so. But then on top of it, you can walk through that technician, will answer questions for you and tell you uh, what's going on. Um, so this bed, when you open both of them side by side, you can have all the room. And there are two seat belts here underneath. So there's the answer. So this trifold, as well as your uh, queen size or full size uh, uh, mattress over here, both you could have two large people, not just five or six year olds, but two actual human sized kids, mom and dad, king size in the back. You could have another, you could have, this is a booth dinette, you could convert the booth if you've got another little, or if you've got somebody like my son, who's perversely tall and doesn't fit in anything, you can get him a king size air mattress and throw it down there in the middle. So there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of benefits to the extra three feet. And then maybe these benefits aren't for you. Maybe there's not things that you need. And if you don't need them, that 37 foot coach has a lot of convenience packed into a really small uh, product. So um, let's go ahead and pull the slides in so we can kind of take a look and see how this looks with it closed up. Did we do that next door, Jody? Did we look at walking room? Okay. I don't think I walked back there, but I didn't have to show you the access to that bathroom because on that quad side, you have so much uh, space. Oh, I'm gonna stop for a quick second. Uh, one thing, folks, you gotta make sure you put your chair far enough forward when you bring your slides in. You can put it back after you get uh, your slides in, but while they're coming in, you always wanna make sure you don't rip the fascia off of your RV. <laughs> put a little note if you're super tall and you're driving which has not ever been my problem um, that you want to make sure you have your slides or your uh, seat forward when you bring your slides in or out okay so as we talked about with the 37 foot coach one of the benefits is going to be that in that quad slide you have a lot of room in that center compartment so maybe a little less space um, here in the walkway uh, where you access your bathroom. But this is why we have our doors pivot. So if you're looking for walking space and access to the bathrooms, 
you can open your refrigerator, you can open your freezer, you can make me a sandwich, you can do some dishes, you can do your laundry, you can make me a burrito, you can vacuum, uh, <laughs> you can pretty much do all of it while you're going down the road. Um, so I hope that this comparison video has helped. I'm so used to holding up my clipboard at the end. My contact information is down below. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I work here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Um, Happy New Year. Happy January. Thank you so much for a very successful 2022. Please call me. Let me help you buy an RV in 2023. Uh, this unit is also available. Um, so whatever I can do to help facilitate you getting on the road, going camping, let me know how I can help. And thank you so much for spending your Monday with me. I appreciate you.